The first chapter of the manga begins with Zue Tian Chen finding himself as the last human survivor in a city overrun by zombies. With his ammunition depleted, he reflects on a picture of his former companions before engaging in a desperate fight against the undead. As he faces imminent death from infection, a sudden twist occurs, transporting him ten years into the past, back to his high school days. In his classroom, Tian Chin is reprimanded by his teacher for sleeping, leading to his expulsion from the class. Confused by the sudden time leap, he retreats to the washroom to collect his thoughts. Startled by an approaching figure, he instinctively attempts to defend himself before realizing it is Gao Fei, his high school best friend. Gao Fei aids Tian Chin by tending to his wounds and mentions Valentine's Day, prompting Tian Chin to recall that it was on this day that the zombie outbreak began. As Tian Chin contemplates the events unfolding, Du An Churu, the object of his affections, approaches. However, instead of professing his love, Tian Chin retrieves his love letter from her and admonishes her for her arrogance, foreseeing her role in the calamities to come, including the eventual demise of Gao Fei. With this confrontation, the chapter concludes, in the next chapter, as the day progresses, the long-feared outbreak finally occurs when a meteorite crashes into Earth's atmosphere, shattering into numerous fragments that scatter across the globe. This event releases a virus that swiftly infects 80% of humanity, transforming them into zombies. With only an hour left before the infection spreads throughout his city, Tian Chen springs into action. Despite the urgency of the situation, Tian Chin attempts to prepare for the impending chaos by instructing Gao Fei to gather supplies. However, Gao Fei struggles to comprehend the gravity of the situation, unaware of the future events. Tian Chin also urges Gao Fei to contact his parents, but Tian Chin himself is alone, having lost his parents in a tragic car accident. Racing against time, Tian Chin arms himself with a crowbar from an old school, preparing to confront the approaching horde of zombies. However, his plans are disrupted when Duan Churu, accompanied by other boys seeking revenge for Tian Chen's previous insult, appears on the scene. Undeterred, Tian Chen swiftly incapacitates one of the boys, instilling fear in the others. This unexpected display of strength causes the group to hesitate, allowing Tian Chen a momentary advantage in the face of the impending zombie threat. With this confrontation, the chapter concludes. In the beginning of the next chapter, the boys who had come to confront Tian Chin retreat in fear, shaken by the terrifying intensity on his face, suggesting he was prepared to fight them all. Duan Churu, disappointed by their failure to defeat Tian Chin, expresses her dissatisfaction with the outcome. Meanwhile, the meteorite reaches Japan and other major nations initially perceived as a divine gift on Valentine's Day. Within the confines of the old school, Tian Chin and Gao Fei experience an earthquake, signaling the impending arrival of the zombies. He explains that the virus will render everyone on Earth unconscious for 20 hours. As Tian Chin drifts into sleep, he is plagued by a haunting dream in which his companions succumb to the virus and turn into zombies. Upon awakening, he realizes it was just a nightmare. Gao Fei, also roused from sleep, panics upon realizing they have been unconscious for 20 hours, fearing repercussions from his parents. Tian Chin reassures him, emphasizing that everything is about to change. Their moment of respite is shattered when a virus-infected individual breaches the sanctuary of the old school, signaling the encroachment of the zombie threat. With this unsettling development, the chapter draws to a close. At the beginning of the next chapter, Gao Fei unwittingly approaches a zombie, mistaking it for a fellow human. Before the zombie can attack Gao Fei, Tian Chen intervenes, swiftly dispatching the undead threat. Confused and overwhelmed, Gao Fei struggles to comprehend the unfolding apocalypse, prompting Tian Chen to reveal the grim reality of the world overrun by zombies. As they observe the carnage around them, witnessing firsthand the relentless slaughter of humanity by the undead, Gao Fei is in disbelief. However, their moment of revelation is short-lived as the zombies detect their presence and launch an assault. Tian Chin valiantly defends them with his trusty crowbar, fending off the attackers. Amidst the chaos, Tian Chin notices that the zombies are targeting Duan Churu and her companions. As Duan Churu stumbles and falls, vulnerable on the ground, a zombie closes in on her, prompting her to plead for help. With this suspenseful cliffhanger, the chapter draws to a close. In the beginning of the next chapter, Duan Chura finds herself in a perilous situation with Tian Chin coming to her aid, surprising her with his unexpected act of bravery. Together, they seek refuge in the safety of the school building, evading the relentless pursuit of the zombies.
Inside the school, amidst the tension and fear, Duan Chura succumbs to tears, prompting Tian Chen to bluntly tell her to quiet down. However, her friend takes offense to Tian Chen's brusque demeanor and attempts to intimidate him. The situation takes a grim turn when Duan Churu's friend is bitten by a zombie and Tian Chen grimly informs him of his impending transformation into a zombie due to the virus. Despite Tian Chen's warnings, Duan Churu's friend initially refuses to accept his fate. However, as his body begins to undergo the horrifying metamorphosis, Duan Churu's friend realizes the truth of Tian Chen's words, feeling betrayed by both his impending fate and Duan Churu's reaction. The tension escalates further when the sound of a car crash draws their attention outside, revealing that their school principal has met his demise while attempting to flee. The commotion attracts the attention of the zombies, providing Tian Chin and the others with a fleeting opportunity to escape the besieged school. With the zombies momentarily distracted, Tian Chin seizes the chance to lead Duan Churu and the others away from the danger, marking a temporary reprieve from the relentless onslaught of the undead. And that's how the chapter ends.